Hello guys, it's um, it's me, Thomas again. Um, sorry, just fixing the camera. Uh, sorry guys. Um, but hello guys, I am back with another video. Um, I don't remember when was the last time I I did a video. I I think it was like probably like I want to say three months ago. I I I don't know. I I really don't know. I don't know how long it's been since I've done a video, but um, I'm doing one today. Um, today I'm doing another, yes, you heard me, another PS4 collection, but this is for the year of 2019. And right now, right now, guys, it is 9.55, and today's Monday, October 21st. There you go. And uh, I just want to say is that NBA season starts... Uh, tomorrow, which is October 22nd, so get ready to watch some of that. So, you know, I'm an NBA fan. My favorite team is uh, Houston Rockets, and um, I don't know. Houston Rockets is my favorite team, and if you're asking who is my favorite player, obviously the leader of Houston Rockets, James Harden. But uh, yeah, so today we're going to so today I'm gonna do a PS4 collection for 2019. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I want to show you how big the collection got. So, I just want to show you how big it got. So, um, that's what we're doing today. And uh, let's get started, shall we? First off, we have Toy Soldiers War Chest, the Hall of Fame edition. I don't know how long it's been since I played this, but um, it's, a, it's an old game, that's for sure. Zombie Army Trilogy Part Two is coming out. So, uh, well, it's not it's not called Zombie Army Trilogy. It's called Zombie Zombie Army Dead War Part Three, I think, or Four. I don't know because it wasn't Part Two. That that's that's all I know. Is it, it didn't say like Part Two or anything. I actually I I think I don't know. But there's a new one of that game coming out. So um, I guess be on the lookout for that. Street Fighter 5 and hold on. I also want to show you this. Yeah, Street Fighter 5 and oh, here it is. Street Fighter 5 and Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition. Uh I got this first. My cousin gave me this. So thank you so much, cousin. Uh my cousin gave me this because he said he didn't really wanted it. And he doesn't really play these type of games. So um yeah. But until a few a few days or maybe a few weeks later, I got this version, the arcade edition. Because um, when Street Fighter Five first came out, I I did wanted it, but I waited until there was like an arcade edition because I knew Capcom would make an arcade edition, and they did, as you can see. So, and the game is pretty fun. Uh, I haven't played this in a while, but you know, uh. I will play it. That, not this one. This one. So, but there you go. That's Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition, and the regular Street Fighter Five, the standard edition, pretty much. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations Two, pretty much my favorite game. But uh, I kind of don't play this anymore because I am too busy playing this one, which is. Resident Evil 6. Uh, this is new in my collection, and um, if you guys if, if you guys watch my PS3 collection, you will see this game. But as you see, I got it on PS4 because not only that, I like how the, the graphics look in the PS4, but also I got it because um, I just wanted another uh, like two-player game. That's why. So, and yes, like I said, this is a new game to my collection, and. Uh, I will, um, I will, um, do like a, like a unboxing on it, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's not really unboxing, but, uh, I still, I still call it an unboxing, but, yeah, there you go, so, and the game is pretty fun, it, it, it really is, and, um, I did finish all the stories, and I finally unlock, uh, infinite ammo, which is pretty much unlimited ammo, <laughs> so now I don't need to worry about getting ammos. That's a good thing, right? So, uh, anyways, uh, and yes, you, you might notice uh, something. I am I won't be showing you guys these games in order, so um, I'm just gonna show you what I got. Okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna go in order. I'm just gonna show you what I got. 
Destiny, the Taken King Legendary Edition. Another game that I haven't really touched for a while. Actually, the last time I touched I touched this game was when I first got the PS4. So, but yeah, I haven't touched this game since I first got the PS4. But uh, you know who cares? So, and I'm not I'm not just that I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Destiny. To be honest, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm being totally honest with you. Uh, anyways, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Don't know why I have this. The game is fun though, but um, I did see the uh, Assassin's Creed Three Remaster at Walmart, so I might uh, might grab that instead, and you know, play it because I haven't really played it. Mortal Kombat XL, pretty much my favorite fighting game of all time, but um, I kind of don't play this anymore because um, I'm I am too busy playing this new one. Mortal Kombat 11, so, uh, both great games, like, literally, both of them are great games, um, the Mortal Kombat 11, it's, uh, it, it, it is fun, to be honest, it really is fun, I, 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 I do like the new guest characters, but, to be honest with you, for the guest characters, you know, the, get, the, the guest characters, you know, the, the DLC characters, pretty much, I like the DLC characters, I, I like, I like these D DLC characters more, the one, the, the ones that they put in uh, Mortal Kombat X. I'm not gonna lie, I I, I do like these DLC characters more than um this one. No, like they're cool too, but I don't know. I just think I just think X was better, you know, for the DLC characters. So I'm just saying. I know I, I might sound like a hater, but I'm I'm not. Trust me. Uh, anyways, uh. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, yeah. Okay, um... Just Dance 2016, another game that I... <sighs> haven't touched in a while. Uh, the last time I played this game was when, uh... Don't know, but, uh... Never really played this game in a while. Hold on. Oh, that's why. Sorry. The disc was out. Don't know why. I don't, I don't know why that was happening. There we go. But, uh... Yes, another game that I've been touching a while. I don't think I, 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 I really don't think I, I, will ever play this game again. Uh, because I just, just to be honest, I, I literally only got this game just because I wanted to play something with, you know, the whole family, and um, this is what I got. So, and so far, the game is pretty boring. It, it, I don't, I don't think we'll ever play it again. To be honest, not just that I don't. I can't, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I. At, at the same time, I I I, I want to say is 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 um I don't know why I got it. So <laughs> who cares? But uh you know uh, GTA Five, very good game as well. Um I don't have Red Dead Part Two, but um I will get it soon because and because it did look pretty good and actually it is pretty good actually so. But uh, yeah, uh, GTA 5 is another old game in my collection, and um, I think the last time I played this was when I had to delete some games on the uh, PS4. So, but uh, to be honest with you, I at the same time I kind of don't see anybody playing this no more. So, um, and I'm pretty sure you guys know why you barely see any people playing this. It is because Fortnite, that game Fortnite, man. People just love Fortnite. I don't know why people was talking about it. I I'm not gonna lie. I did play it before, and um, I don't know. I kind of I wasn't really into it, so I just I just thought the game was pretty boring. Uh, but the whole uh stuff they put in it is pretty cool. But just playing it, it, it just sorry. This the the disc is out. The this game right here. Uh. It's just, I don't know, I just, I don't know, Fortnite is just kind of, it, it, it's just pretty boring to me, you know? But, people out there who does play Fortnite, I hope you guys have a great time with it. Which I'm pretty sure you guys are. Uh, Injustice 2, um, I might get the uh, the new one, which is the Injustice 2 Legendary Edition. Because that one comes with all DLC. I mean, I, I already do have all the DLCs for this game, but the Legendary Edition, they said that um, I, I forgot. I, I, I really forgot. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, let's continue. 
NBA 2K17. Um, don't know when I, I don't know when was the last time I played this, but good game, like always. WWE 2K16. Batman Returns to Arkham, definitely one, one of my favorite games, and, uh, I heard that, um, Rocksteady is, is trying to make a new Batman game. I heard, I, I did, I did heard about that. I heard that they were thinking about making a new Batman, Batman Arkham game, which is, which means I am very, very excited for, and, uh, I can't wait to see, you know, like, I can't wait to see what's, uh, I, I can't wait to see, uh, what's, what they're gonna put in the the Batman Arkham game, the, the the new one though, um, it did show pictures on YouTube. It did show like some new bosses they were trying to make us fight, but I guess they kind of canceled it because they didn't like the way it looks. But um, you know who cares? And they they did say something about that. Um, if they do make this new Batman Arkham game, they were gonna make not only Batman to be free roam, but also Robin, Nightwing. And Catwoman, that's what they said. So, um, but if that's true, then good job, Rocksteady. You are a very cool company who knows how to make a Batman game. So, um, but yeah. Anyways, um, back to this. Uh, this Batman Return to Arkham game comes with Arkham Asylum Ark and, and, and Arkham City. Both great games. I don't know when was the last time I played it, but, uh, I just know that I had so much fun with it. Same with this one right here. Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, the Batman Returns to Arkham, which is the Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. If you watch my PS3 collection video that I did last year, I think. No. Way, way last year. But, um, if you watch my video on that, my, my, my PS3 collection, you will see those games. So, but yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, Batman Returns to Arkham. I don't have all the DLC for this game yet, but, um... I'm I'm still trying to, you know I'm I'm still trying to get it, but uh, this is this like literally one of the most funnest Batman Arkham games right now. I just hope Rocksteady does make a new Batman Arkham game because if they do, that will be that will be that that will be cool. It, it will be pretty cool because um, you know I will like it for sure. Uh, Resident Evil Origins Collection. I will be I will be honest with you on that, to be honest. I, 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 will be, I will be pretty honest with you guys on that. About when I said, you know, if they do make a Batman Arkham game, and it will be pretty cool. So, you know, like I said, I will be pretty honest with you guys on that. I will like it. But yeah, anyways, uh, Resident Evil Origins Collection. There you go. Uh, it comes with Resident Evil 0 and 2. I mean, 1. I like how Capcom, when, when Capcom first was first making Resident Evil games, I like it how... They actually did it in number order. Like they actually start with zero. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's it's pretty funny but cool at the same time because you know there, there, there's there 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 isn't any there there isn't a lot of games like that. There isn't a, there isn't a lot of games where they make like a story and they make like you know like part one, part two, part three, part part four, and all that. But Capcom is like literally the first company that made. The Resident Evil games, and they started off with, you know, like in like an actual number order, which is number zero. So I do, I do think that is pretty cool, but funny at the same time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I uh, I haven't finished zero yet. I did play half of one because you can tell I play one more because um, uh, one is just a little bit fun. I like zero as well, but one is just it, it's just it's just a little more fun, and it just makes me want to play that one more. Uncharted, the Nathan Drake's collection. Uh, finished part three. Yes, I know you guys are probably asking why did you start with part three instead of going, you know, in order. But uh, because you know, I just, um, you know, I I choose, you know, I play which which one I want to play, and you know. But if you watch my PS3 collection, uh, if you guys have watched my PS3 collection, you probably seen I had part two and part three. Let me give it close up. You guys probably know that I do have part two and part three. Don't have part one. I did play part one, and it's it's pretty cool. I, I do like it. Um, I don't have a charter four yet, but I might get it. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I'll probably get it tomorrow because um, the game is pretty cheap already. Same with the 
the Lost Legacy, so, um, you know, probably get both of them. Why not, you know? Play, play something new. But, uh, yeah, uh, finished three. I finished two already, finally. Still haven't finished part one. Part one is just, it's just too much, to be honest. Like, too much treasure solving, and, um, and, yes, I know, but to me, though, to me, I, I just think two and three didn't have too much treasure solving. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, Shaq Fu, The Legend Reborn. Um, pretty good game, actually. Uh, I thought this would be, like, a remake of the classic Shaq Fu game. Um, but it's not, though. So, I thought it will be a remake, but it's not. This is, like, a new, a new, a, a, a new thing, so. But, uh, yeah, um, Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn. Um, this game is... It's pretty cool. The the the, the, the whole screen area thing. It, yes, I know it's it's small, but the game is it, it it's it's fun. To be honest, it it really is fun. I did finish it too at the same time, and the game is it's it, it's good. Um, the reason why it's called Shaq Fu is because y'all know why. That dude right there, the ball head man, that Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Shaquille O'Neal so famous. He's He's, he's doing movies, he's an NBA professional, and he is now, he is now in, a, in some video games, and that's one of them. So, that's pretty cool that, that, that he has his own game. That, it really is. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, um, pretty good game as well. Haven't played this in a long time, like always, but, um, all, all I know is that I remember having so much fun with this game. I just remember that, so, and I'll never forget those times when I play with the, I mean, when I play this game with my friends, not my friends, my, uh, my family, my cousins, pretty much, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, see, another game where I will never forget, um, uh, uh, where I will never forget about, about when I have so much fun playing this game with my family, my, my cousins, pretty much. And, um, if you're asking how many, how many zombie maps I have on this game, I have four. I don't have the Chronicles pack yet, but, um, I might get that or maybe the new map on, uh, this Call of Duty game right here that I'm about to show you. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I, I, I might get a new map on this one instead of the, the Black Ops 3. Or, or, or tell me in the comments below, tell me. Which one, which one should I get a new map on? Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 3? Tell me, because um, I would love to hear you guys, your guys' thoughts. But yeah, there you go though, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And um, I have so much fun in this game. I just hate the fact that um, this game requires PlayStation Plus just to play a campaign. Um, which really sucks, because, I don't know. I haven't played, I haven't played Blackout. i am be honest with you, I haven't played Blackout. But, uh, you know, it's, it's alright. Who cares? I'm just gonna be happy that I have the game and I played it. So I played the zombie and the multiplayer, but not the blackout yet. But you know, it's all right. Who cares? NBA 2K16, Anthony, and yes, I got the one with Anthony Davis on the front picture. Now a lot of people, now when this game first came out, a lot of people thought that is there is there a difference? Because you know the there's there's three of these copies like. There, no, like, there's, there's a lot of these copies, except that a lot of them has, like, different pictures. Like, for example, this one has Anthony Davis. There's one with James Harden on it. There's one with Stephen Curry on it. And I'm pretty sure there was one where, where there's all three of them. So, but, um, yeah, people have been asking, is there, is there a difference? But, no, there, there isn't. It's just the same game, except with different picture. But, yeah, there you go, though, NBA 2K16. I like I like this game. To be honest, I, I really do. It kind of takes me back watching the Sacramento Kings, and you know, seeing cousins on the team. It's it's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, Detroit Become Human. I did not play this. Only my sister has, and she did finish it. And um, my sister my sister kept asking, should I play this? And I just I just tell her, okay, yeah, I'll I'll play it, but you know, later. So, but yeah, and she told me she uh. She had a fun time with this game, so you know I me. Mean? I don't, I don't know about this game yet because, like I said, haven't played it, and um, 
you know, I just, when I, when I first got the game, I just didn't really have, like, any interest in it, you know what I mean? So, The Walking Dead Collection, no, uh, a pretty cool game, a pretty awesome, sad story game as well. Um, very sad game. Um, I like the whole Clementine story, the Lee and all that. It's just so sad Lee died. Rest in peace, Lee. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can expect more. But, uh, um, yeah, this Walking Dead collection, this comes with all, all three seasons. And, um, yeah, I don't have the, the, the other one where, I don't have the other Walking Dead collection where it has all four seasons. I only have this one where, where, only, where it only has three seasons. But the cool thing about it is that all three of them are remastered. And it has all DLCs, so. But, uh, yeah, very sad game and a, a really, really good game. It, this is, this is, if you're looking for a sad game, this, this is the one. Right here, this, this, this is the game to play. I'm being totally honest with you guys on that. And also, The Walking Dead Season 4. Another sad game. I really thought Clementine died, but she didn't. She she is alive. And, and, and the ending, it doesn't matter what choice you pick. If you either choose to uh, um, kill Clementine or leave Clementine. Because either way... Um, man, sorry. Because either way, AJ, he's gonna cut off Clementine's leg. So, But yeah, um, the ending was sad, but not... Not, not only sad, but also very, very happy. Like, everybody was like literally, when I watch on YouTube, everybody was like literally crying in the ending. This game was, it was such a sad season. I just hate the fact that it has to end on episode 5. But I, I know why though, why it has to end on, on episode 5, because I heard that the game director, uh, he didn't really have too much uh, money to make a new... To make to, to to go on making more episodes, that's what I heard. So, but uh, just tell me if that's true. If it's not, then you know, okay, I'm wrong. Okay, so, but who cares, you know? Anyways, uh, NBA 2K14. There you go. NBA 2K15. I uh, I like this more than uh 2K14. Tales of Tales of uh, Zestria, I don't really play this game. I, I did play this game, but I didn't really play too much of it, but... I don't know. Maybe I will get around playing this game. But the, the game, it it, it it was cool. It, it, it was it, it was good, to be honest. It, it, it really was. Saints Row 4... No, no, the Saints Row Double Pack. That comes with Saints Row 4 and Saints Row Get Out of uh, Hell. This, this, they're both remaster games, and both of them comes with all DLC, which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I just think the game is pretty, is, is pretty fun. So, but there you go. Saints Row 4 and Get Out of Hell. NBA 2K18. NBA 2K19, very, very fun. Better than 2K18, to be honest. And this one was the funnest. NBA 2K20. This, guys, this was this was the most awesomest NBA game I have ever played. This was, man, it was it, it, it was cool. It was pretty pretty cool. I do like it. Battlefield Hardline. Don't know when I, uh, this game is pretty fun. I love cops and robbers. I mostly love the robbers. This is new into my collection as well. Last of Us Remaster, finally got it. Um, can't wait for part two, as well. And yes, I know you guys. I know you guys can see it, but this time is in a red case. This gotta be the first time I see a red case. No, no, no like, like, like this is the first time I see a PS4 game on a PS4 red case. So, but uh, yeah. So um, Last of Us Remaster, I did finish it, and I did finish the uh, Left Behind story. So um. But yeah, and yes, this is new to my collection, and I will do an unboxing on it, even though I already play it, but I also do an unboxing on it. It, it, it. I know it will not be like an unboxing, unboxing like that, but, you know, I still call it an unboxing, but I will do an unboxing on this. I promise you guys on that. 
I'm just trying to do a video. Tekken 7, I finally get to play as Negan in the game, and I, I have so much fun playing as him. And, um, that was pretty fun, too. You know, Negan, the bad guy from The Walking Dead. I have Mad Max here. Mad Max, the game. I don't know when was the last time I played that game, but, you know. Call of Duty Ghost, pretty much the oldest Call of Duty game right now. Same with uh, Black Ops. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Awesome game, like always. Oh, I want to pull these right here. Sorry, guys. I had to fix something. Okay. Anyways, uh... WWE 2K18. And... WWE 2K19. 2K20 is out. Uh, if you guys want to purchase it, go ahead and purchase it right now. While it's still available. Lego, the Mar Le Lego Marvel, the collection. This comes with all three Lego games. Um, and all three of those Lego games comes with all scenes of past content and other DLCs. So, and pretty fun game. I only finished the first one, which is Lego Marvel Superheroes. Still haven't finished Lego Marvel Superheroes 2. I'm close to finishing it, like, close. And, um, still haven't touched Lego Marvel Avengers, but I will get, I, I, I will get around playing this. I will. Resident Evil 2, I play this game like so many times, and the reason I play this game so many times is because it's just, it's just so fun, you know? It, it kind of takes me back to the old version of, you know, Lee, Leon, when he was wearing the, uh, I, to be honest with you, when I was playing, uh, which, which, which Resident Evil game? When I was playing Resident Evil 5, I mean, no, not 5, 4, uh, when I was playing Resident Evil 4 on the PS2, I, I, I like using the... The Raccoon City Police Department Leon suit because I just think it's it's better and I like that one more. A lot of people does. And finally, last but not least, pretty much one of my favorite games that that right now, and I do play I I, I do play this a lot. And like I said, pretty much one of my favorite games right now is Days Gone. The pretty pretty scary zombie game and free roam game as well. Um. I did finish this game. I had a a fun, fun time with this game. I just like it how we get to drive a motorcycle in the middle of the road where there's a bunch of zombies and all that. Kill, killing the horde was definitely very fun and hard at the same time. And um, I don't know, guys. This game it was it it, it was pretty cool. It it was awesome. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That is it for my 2019. PS4 game collection. All these games, man. I play a lot of them. And all these games here, guys. These games. I will remember playing these games. I will definitely remember playing those Call of Duty games with my cousins. I remember those fun times playing with them. Um, I still play the Call of Duty games. I still do. Um, man, it's just all these games, man. It's just a lot of these games. They... They're gonna give me memories when I turn to an adult. I'm not gonna lie, they they will. They will. But yeah, though that's it for this MB, for this uh, PS4 2019 game collection. Uh, sorry for not doing a video for like I don't know when, when was my last video, but you know who cares? But uh, um, sorry for not doing a video for you know that long. So um, I was busy in life. You know, life is hard. You know, it's not easy. So. Gotta deal with life stuff, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, I promise you I will try to do some more videos a little bit early, so, um, but, yeah, uh, my next video I will probably do tomorrow because I was gonna do it today, but not today because, um, I'm pretty tired. I, I, I wanna eat some dinner, I wanna go to sleep, and, you know, watch TV, watch The Walking Dead, you know, same old, same old, so... But, uh, yeah, so, um, um, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching this. Um, just comment me down below uh, what other games you guys want me to do. And, um, um, yeah, what other games you guys want me to do. No, no, not, not what other games you guys want. What other videos you want me to do. Because I will, I will love to. So, um, you know, food, games, 
toys, you know, all that. Oh yeah, uh, but, but yeah, uh, let me tell you the next video before I end this video. The next video I'll probably do tomorrow is my new Nerf Fortnite gun, the uh, pistol with the silencer. I, I forgot what it's called, that's why. Uh, I wish I had the packaging, but I don't. So, but yeah, I will be doing that tomorrow, I promise you guys that. And, um, yeah, um, so sorry for not doing a video for that, for that long. So, um, I just hope you guys accept my apology. And, um, a lot of these games I will show, like, an unboxing on it. A kind of unboxing, so. But, um, yeah, just sorry for not doing a video for that long. But, uh, don't worry though, I will try to do some more videos, you know, just trying to, I'm just trying to get to the top, you know, you want, you know, when you're a YouTuber, you know, not, 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 not YouTuber like that, but when you're doing YouTube videos, you know, if you want to become a YouTuber, you know, you just have to, you know, you, sometimes you don't want to stay here on the bottom. You want to, you want to go up to the top, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to become big, you know, you want to become famous. So, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, but uh, yeah, though, guys, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Uh, and, um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, uh, follow me on Instagram. And, um, you know, oh yeah, I, I, before I end the video, I just want to say, I don't think I said this on my last video, but I want to say I did, but at the same time I don't, because, uh, I just really don't know I did, because, you know, I don't check my videos. So, um, I'm just going to say to you guys right now is that I finally got my Instagram back. I am finally not hacked anymore. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just hope you guys enjoy this video and, um, give thumbs up. I would really love those. Please subscribe and um, comment down below. Whatever you guys, whatever, whatever video you guys want me to do, like uh, you, you, no, no, food, games, or toys. People, people barely ask for food. I don't know why, but it, it, it's okay. I, I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't take that as a, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. But who cares? Um, thank you guys for watching, though, and um, I'll see you guys later. Um, bye bye. Peace.